Hey, what's happening guys? Thank you for tuning in. This is Yaro with Bolt Life Proof Grooming. And if you are into grooming, adventure and health, you're in the right place because this is what the Bolt channel is all about. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna talk about salt and pepper beard and how to get it done right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a demo in my own beard. And I'm gonna make some suggestions on what techniques to use and what type of products to use to get the most natural results fast and easy. To start with, you need to have the right product to use. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a product that has been used in the film and TV industry for years on actors and stuntmen to do anything from salt and pepper beard to highlights or full coverage. Most importantly, this product is really easy to use and you can do it from the comfort of your home or on the go. The key to salt and pepper beard is to use a product that will allow you to do some blending and fading. You don't want to be using product that actually covers your beard completely with color. With that said, I would stay away from beard dyes because beard dyes are not designed to blend with your natural beard color. They're designed to cover it. So if you're going to use beard dyes to do any sort of a fading or blending, what you're going to end up with is going to be really patchy beard. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. The next thing to take into consideration is to have enough grace or salt in your beard so you can add the pepper or the color to it. I'm not saying you've got to have a completely gray beard like I do, but there's got to be enough gray for this to work. I would say at least like 50 to 50. In this video, I'm going to be using Bolt Instant Beard Color. And the reason is because Bolt provides me with complete control over the application and the final results. In other words, with Bolt, I can apply it wherever I need it. I can attack spots that I need. Also, it provides amazing blending with my natural beer color, and I can also control the opacity or intensity of the color. All right, let's move to the demo. So for the salt and pepper beard look, I like to choose a shade that's one shade lighter than my actual natural beer color. And that is because I don't want to compete with it. I want to blend it in and I want to complement it. The other thing that you can do is actually use two different beer colors. And that is something I'm going to explain in the next video. Yep. That's my color. But I'm gonna start by shaking the vibe really well to disperse all the ingredients inside of it so that way it's gonna work properly. I like to use the bolt dog like this. This is the holder that will keep the color upright because if you don't want to lay it down, it's gonna spill. It also allows me to use two hands during the application so I can hold uh, with, one, with one hand my ear like this in these challenging areas and apply the color with the second hand. The application is really simple. I usually start in the middle and work my way out. You can start on the sides as well. Uh, I like to start in the middle right now for, with the salt and pepper look because I will be fading it out into uh, more gray uh, hair, which is uh, on the side of my head. That way the transition is really gradual and looks natural. When pulling the brush out, make sure to wipe it out a little bit on the sides of the wall, especially if you wanna go lighter. There is a reducer inside of it, which will wipe out the excess of the paint, but this will keep it even dry and that way you can go light. The application is really simple. All you gotta do is to brush in the color in the direction of your hair. It's always a good idea to pause and have a look at what you've done so far. The key with the salt and pepper beard look is not to overdo it. You wanna go light. You wanna have some of that salt showing through the pepper. Now, if you mess up or put the color in the place where you don't want it, it's totally okay because you can use the uh, bolt uh, prep and clean right here. Just apply a little bit on the cotton swab and clean it off. I've got a little spot in here. Yep, comes right off. All right, it's all done. You can see that I did a uh, kind of a went light on the color. I didn't overdo it. I'm letting a lot of the salt showing through the pepper, which gives it that natural look. Also, it is important to point out that the product is instantly sweat and water resistant, which is important. So that way you can go on and face anything. I hope you enjoyed this video and please help out grow the channel by subscribing and hitting the button bell. And also don't forget to leave us some comments. We'd love to hear from you.